Welcome to Scratch Junior Coding. This is a series of videos to help you learn to code using Scratch Junior. On Scratch Junior, you can create your own stories, riddles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Today, you're going to create something like this. It's a dance party. Did you get the Scratch Junior app after the first lesson? Like I said last time, you need an iPad or Android tablet with the Scratch Junior app. It's a free download from the Apple App Store or Google Play. I downloaded Scratch Junior onto my laptop computer. That is available too, so get someone to get Scratch Junior for you however you can get it, so that you can do coding with us. When you launch Scratch Junior, you'll get this screen go to home. You may have other projects here if you've been playing around or if you were with us for lesson one. But to create a new project, click the plus. When you start a project, the default character, this is called a sprite, will appear. In Scratch Junior, a sprite is just another name for the characters, animals, and other things that you control in Scratch Junior. If you want to change this default sprite, just click and press on the sprite until an X appears. And then click the X and he'll go away. To select a new sprite, you go to the plus. To select a new background, you go to this landscape icon. And we're going to do a dance party, so first I'm going to click the dance stage. I'm going to go select the dance stage. So this is all my different backgrounds. And here is our dance stage with the light shining down on the stage. And then I'm going to pick a couple of characters to dance on the stage. So click the plus over on the left. We want a boy and a girl to dance. So we'll pick a girl and then the check mark to select her. And I'll just move her, move her over a little bit. As soon as you hold down on something, you have to start moving it. If I just hold down on it without starting to move, it'll think I want to delete it. So I have to hold down on it and then move really quick or it's going to select it to delete it. You'll get the hang of it. It takes a little practice. So now I want to select a boy. I'll pick the, click on the plus and go down to where the boys and girls are. Which boy should we pick? And then check mark. And then he's on the stage. So we'll drag him over. If you were with us for the last lesson, you'll know that this area down here is the programming area. And whatever you want the sprite to do has to go into this area. Well, what's new for this lesson is we have two sprites on the page, two characters on the page. And you have to remember to pick the right one when you're doing the movements for them or the programming for that character. You see the boy here? The boy is selected right here. If I select the girl, then you see the little girl picture right here. Anything that goes right here is going to make the girl move. When I pick the boy, Anything that goes right here will make the boy move. You'll see. So if I do a right movement, it makes the boy move right. If I select the girl, you'll see she doesn't have any programming yet. Let's make her go left. And if we connect a couple of blocks together, then she'll go left and then right. Let's make her dance. We're going to pick a green flag to start the program and then go back to the movement blocks which are blue. We'll make her kind of spin to the right a little bit and spin to the left and then jump. Let's see what that looks like. Does that look like she's dancing? Now if we pick the boy, 
Well, see, he doesn't have much. Let's make him jump and then move and then spin a little bit and spin a little more. Let's see what that looks like. If I click this green flag up here, it makes the girl move, but not the boy. Do you know why? Let's look at her code. She has a green flag. This tells her start whenever somebody clicks the green flag. The boy doesn't have that. We forgot to put that on there. Another good thing to do is put an ending block at the end of the code. So that tells it to stop. But for today's lesson, we don't really want them to stop dancing. This means just keep going and going and going and going. So when I put this on here, he'll just keep dancing and keep dancing and keep dancing. So let me stop him, put him back to where he was in the beginning, and click the green flag, and that'll make them both dance. But she's not still dancing. What happened? Let's stop him. What's wrong with her code? She doesn't have this repeat block. That'll make her just keep dancing forever. This little arrow here makes them go back to their starting place. And it works. They're both dancing. Are you happy with the way they're dancing? You could add more spins and higher jumps and do whatever you want. It's your movie that you're making. This is going to make it into a bigger screen. And then we click the green, and they're dancing on the stage. There's a way that we can bring some music in here, but the only kind of music that they have is this pop. Let's see what that sounds like. Is that close enough to some music? We're going to tell it, whenever you hear, whenever you um, see the green flag clicked, then just pop forever. What does that sound like? Is that good enough for dance music? Now it's your turn. Open your Scratch Junior app. Click the home. Click the plus to create a new project. You'll probably have Scratch the cat whenever you first open it up and you could keep him or you could decide to use different ones. Get the stage background or if you want your characters to dance somewhere else, that's fine. Pick any two characters that you want. Add as many movements as you want. And make it repeat. And then select your other character. And see, he has no programming done yet. You didn't do it yet. And then add whatever movements you want for him. And make it repeat. And then you could use your own voice to make some sounds for their dance. Or you could add some pops and make that repeat. 
If you can add two characters and make them both dance, then congratulations, you've mastered the second lesson. What else would you like to make your character do? Would you like to make a longer movie with him? Would you like to turn him into a video game? Keep practicing and you'll be creating games and longer stories soon. I'll be back to help you on your learning journey. Be sure to watch the next lesson of Scratch Junior Coding and click subscribe below so you won't miss an episode. And I'll see you there.